my initial approach to editing a scene is I watch dailies. And usually I can tell, like, I call it my anger take, and it's the take that, like, the performance is, like, on a whole other level. And so you're like, this is the one I am probably gonna build the scene around. And then once I have that selected, then it's more so a process of, like, knowing and figuring out when to be on the right person during the scene. And, you know, a lot of times what was initially written evolves into what was acted out and then evolves into like how you actually finish the scene in the editing process. It's interesting because I've worked on other, like with other software um, and the more detail, less detail function is like something I've used ever since I was an assistant editor. And I've mapped it out and it's been on my keyboard the exact same place and it just is one of, to me, it just saves so much time being able to zoom in and you know and zoom out. And the other one that I love is the fast forward rewind buttons. Like I use those a lot. Um, and the other thing is like being able to save your timeline views and just being able to like quickly go to like, you know, sound editing mode and then jump back to like picture mode and then jump to like my entire view. Like those I think are like so great in like the timeline tool. And then like script sync is like, it has changed the game, I think. <laughs> The first time I actually used it, I was an assistant editor, and I was like, oh my gosh. Being able to watch my editor and see how quickly they jump through a scene with the director behind them, and being able to jump to like a line, and then listen to all of them at the same time, it was just like, I think once an editor uses it, they think like, how did I not have this before? <laughs>